Do you really enjoy resin 3D printing, but you hate working with IPA? Does the smell get to you a little bit? Well, if so, this video is gonna be for you because I have an alternative to cleaning your 3D resin prints instead of using IPA. And it comes courtesy of a company called Salesy, and they sent me over some of their 3D resin detergent. So you can find this detergent on Amazon. Last time I checked the price, it was about $38.99, but you can also check to see if there's a coupon on Amazon that you can click to save you a few more dollars. And if I happen to have a code as well, I'll be sure to put that down in the description as well. So this resin detergent is gonna be good for cleaning a few different types of resin. Now this comes in a 1.5 kilogram bottle or 1500 grams. Here is the bottle that it comes in. Now on the front of the bottle, it says that it safely cleans standard resin, ABS-like resin, hard toughness resin, plant-based resin, PA-like resin, and high temperature resin. Now the way that you're going to use this is you need to dilute this in water. The instructions on how to use this detergent is listed right here on the bottle and it says that the recommended dilution ratio is not over one to one which is kind of confusing. But fortunately, the product page on Amazon says that the dilution ratio is three to two. And then you mix the detergent in with the water. And then from there, you soak your model in this detergent for more than three minutes. And then you give it a nice little scrub, preferably with a toothbrush or something soft like that. And then you're supposed to rinse it with water until the surface is not sticky. And then you can cure it. They do recommend using an ultrasonic cleaner for better cleaning, but if you don't have one, don't worry about it. And in case you need it, they do have some measuring ticks on the side of the bottle and you're able to see how much detergent that you have left. So I'm really glad that they sent this over to me because I do know that some people just can't deal with IPA. I know the smell can cause some people to even get headaches and perhaps they don't want to use water washable resins for any number of reasons, but I'm gonna give this a try and see how well my prints turn out. This is what the experience was like for me using this detergent, and I admittedly didn't do it correctly the first time around. You see, the Amazon page says that the dilution ratio is three to two, but it doesn't tell you whether you should use three parts detergent to two parts water, or if you should use three parts water to two parts detergent. And traditionally, when you mix things like detergent and water, you use more water than you do detergent. So I looked up how to calculate a dilution ratio, and I basically basically ended up putting 2,000 milliliters of water inside of this container along with 400 milliliters of detergent. And when I went to clean my first models with it, I did notice after the model had dried that it still had some shiny spots here and there on it. And those shiny spots are indicative of resin that hasn't been completely cleaned. And when I went to cure these parts, it was still somewhat sticky, despite the fact that I rinsed it off in order to get that detergent off like you're supposed to. So after that happened, I reached out to them and I said, what's the correct way to use this detergent? Should I be using more detergent or should I be using more water? So they replied that I should take the entire bottle, which is the 1.5 kilogram bottle, and add in one kilogram of water. So use more detergent than water. So I did that, got myself a fresh bucket. I added all of the detergent to just 1000 milliliters of water. And then I began to clean the prints with it. And I immediately saw a difference. When I started to agitate the parts, I started to see the resin starting to cloud up the solution. So that was a really good thing. It shows that it was actually working. And then I just went through the normal procedure, brushing off all of the models with the toothbrush to get it thoroughly clean and then dunking it inside of another smaller container of water in order to get the excess detergent off. And once I did that and I cured it, the prints ended up looking so much better. They weren't sticky anymore and I didn't see the shiny residue that was on it like it was the first time around. So that shows me that this resin has done a very good job at thoroughly cleaning my parts. I've been doing a lot of printing and a lot of cleaning with this detergent. So let me show you some of the results here, starting off with Gizmo from Gremlins. This was the first model that I tried to print using this detergent. And it's also the model that didn't get clean as well as it should have been because I did not use the correct ratio of detergent 
to water. So while he looks good for the most part, you can probably see some shiny spots here and there on his fur and around his ear. And that's indicative of some resin that wasn't completely cleaned. And then when I cured it, it left behind some shiny spots. But that's not the fault of the resin. That was my fault when I incorrectly mixed the first batch. But every figure after this was cleaned properly with the right amount of detergent and water mixed in. And as we can see with this next figure here, he came out looking a lot better. I can't find any shiny spots on him at all. That was the result of resin that was left on the model. I cleaned him the exact same way that I did Gizmo. I let him soak and then I just manually cleaned him with the toothbrush before dipping it in some water to get rid of that excess detergent and then letting it air dry before I cool and he came out looking really, really good. Another model that I cleaned with this detergent, but I'm having a hard time actually getting this, getting him to stay together with glue is this other gremlin figure here. And just like the previous one, he was cleaned with the correct mixture of detergent and water. And he also came out looking really, really good. So this is just his body that you're seeing here. And one day I'll get him together. But until then, I can tell you that he did clean up really nicely indeed. That figure was also giving me problems because I had to reprint a handful of pieces, which also meant I needed to use the detergent more than I was expecting. And by the time I got to the Bane model, which is the final model, I noticed that the cleaning properties were starting to deteriorate a little bit. When I first used the detergent, the models felt very clean. The surface felt clean. I can feel it even through my gloves. By the time I got to Bane, it started to feel a little bit more slippery on the surface. And to me, that meant that there was still some resin that needed to be cleaned off. And although it still looks good in the end with just a couple of shiny spots here and there, I do know that the detergent is starting to lose some of its power. Now I have been told that you can take a little bit more detergent and add it to the mixture in order to extend the life of it. But I still wanted to let you know, but by the time I got finished washing, maybe about 10 or so different parts of various sizes, started to notice a difference in its cleaning capabilities. So all in all, I think it's a good product and it clearly works as you just saw from the results. But the big question that you have to ask yourself is, is it worth it as far as money is concerned for you to buy this detergent? Because it's $38 for a single bottle. And that bottle is going to get you a little under a half gallon of detergent, about 0.4 gallons of detergent. Now for me, Isopropyl alcohol doesn't bother me. So I'm able to go to Walmart and get a 32 ounce bottle of 91% isopropyl alcohol for about $4, which means I can get a half gallon for $8, or I can just get a whole gallon of IPA 91% for around $16. So when you compare $16 for a gallon of IPA versus $38 for a little under a half a gallon of detergent, that price difference is pretty significant. Then you also have to consider the second wash that you'll have to do with the detergent because you need to have fresh water to rinse the figures off before you can cure them. And that makes sure that they're not sticky. So that also means that you're going to have to let those figures dry. Now with me, when it comes to isopropyl alcohol, it evaporates a lot faster than water. So I'm able to take my models and put them next to a space heater for a couple of minutes. And that gets them dry enough for me to cure them and not see any horrible adverse effects. But while Water behaves differently, so it's going to take longer for those to dry, especially if you just want them to air dry, which means that you'll have to wait longer before you're able to start handling your figures. I think that the price needs to be lower in order for this to really be a good viable alternative or even an impulse purchase for people. So I would recommend putting the price at around $25 for that 1.5 kilogram bottle. And I think that will make it a little bit more enticing to purchase, especially since a one kilogram bottle of resin only costs average around like $20. So I think having a little bit more than that for a detergent for 25 would be something that people can look at and say, well, maybe I'll give that a shot without feeling like they're breaking the bank. So remember, if you want to try out this detergent for yourself, I will have a link down in the description so that you can check it out. And again, I want to thank Sales C for sending me this product so that I can check it out and test it out for you today. But that is all for now. If you want to see more reviews like this, be sure to subscribe so you can always know when another video has been released. And until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.